Hey, Bianca, do you have a restroom for tennis? Are you ignoring me? <laughs> oh, you, so that's a no. You got no restroom for tennis. Yeah, so you can go. Okay. I don't know where these two people are. This one's Trisha's and this one's Steve's. And this is mine. So here's my copy. Trisha, Steve, or Trisha, Steve. It doesn't matter who gets what. Hi! You guys called us? Yeah, if you don't mind if I record, I'm a tenant. I know, that's what they said. So, what's going on? I'm not you want sure. to see the property manager? Oh yeah, I have lawsuits here. To uh, you live serve, here? yeah, to serve them. Okay. I think she's overreacting. I don't know what to tell you guys. Okay. What's going on, ma'am? Oh, give me a second. Sorry. Oh, okay. oh, I served her too with the lawsuit, and she got mad. What's the lawsuit over? Right there, sir. Let me see. Um, so I'm a tenant who's suing these apartments over disability um, access because I have to park way far and they won't let me on the property. So it's really a civil matter. So Do you I don't know why she let called you. park on the property? Right. They're telling me I got to park across the street or at the okay. Bank of America. And I'm like, well. Is that where you're, par that where you're parking now? Yeah. That's where I parked today. Why and do you Why do you think we might have been called here? Um, I don't know. She and called. How, how's your I your literally had no idea, been? sir. What's that? How's your demeanor been? Pretty good. I actually filmed everything just to okay. make sure. Do you want to see? So you've been polite, respectful. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have had adult conversations. Yeah. I've been actually sitting here. She could have test for 20 she's minutes. Not gonna ask any questions. See what I mean? She's the boss. She acts like she's the boss. I just want to talk to the property so manager. Hand her this be, lawsuit. Are you trying to be confrontational or are you trying to Not get at all, something sir. accomplished? Not well, at you all. got your paperwork. You got your paperwork in order, right? Yeah. So now what happens next? What no, happens next? All they have to do is serve this to the property manager, Trisha Morris. And this is there a property manager? Um, there weren't available when I gave them the call. Okay. But she is on the premises. Well, what, what, so you is, there a better, is there a better time when the person may be available? It varies. Can you call the person? Uh, yeah. Sure. Something you should have did from the beginning. Um, so, uh, so if you serve... So, so, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for my safety. They've been very... They've been kind of... I mean, they called the cops on me. I'm going to record. Okay. Well, you if they didn't call the cops on me, I would probably get the phone you were, You're afraid of your safety from her? No, the security guard I'm going to give this to, Steve. Security. You, why yeah. are you going to give that to the security guard? Um, you said you wanted to give it to the property manager, right? Yeah, there's gonna, two of them. So you want to file, you want to give it to the property manager? I just want them so to that they have a copy. just serve them, right? Okay, and then, and then what? And then call? I go home. And then you go home? Yeah, yeah the okay. property manager and... Okay. And you don't want to give it to her to give oh, it to the property I actually, manager? She, no, I'm subpoenaing three people, which is Trisha, Steve, and her, and I gave her her copy already. Okay, who's, who's Trisha? Uh, she's the property manager. Okay, and then Steve, you said? Steve, yes, sir. Okay, who's Steve? He's the security supervisor. Okay, was he here? No, none of them are here. I've been waiting for like an hour. So. And if I wasn't a tenant, then I wouldn't be recording. It'd be like, you know, against the law. You have a phone? He was following me. I understand. There's a, unfortunately, there's a difference between like being rude Manager, 
Don't, the only point is I need to get it on film that proof she got it. Okay, that's all. I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, so that's another reason I'm recording. Just, just getting. I got her proof that she received hers, and I just need Steve and Trisha. And it's like they're, I think they're hiding. Actually, <laughs> are they hiding? Yeah, is it possible to arrange uh, a date and time? Maybe. She actually. The reason this even happened is she called me yesterday, Trisha, the property manager, and said you're not allowed to come to the office, even though I'm a tenant. You're not allowed in the office or to be around personnel. That doesn't make sense without a restraining order, especially on a tenant. Like I'm allowed to do business here if I'm a tenant. If I was just a stranger yeah. off the street, you could kick me out of here. Is there any other thing in your guys' um, your like uh, like a rental renter's agreement? Like it says. Do you have evidence of that? Well, it says like. I don't know. Do you guys have any like bylaws or something? Oh, we have a lease. Yeah. Now, do you have um, film of me harassing anyone? I don't think they do. Because I haven't. So this is just going to continue until he accomplishes what he's set up. He's got two people to contact. Why don't we contact his people? Exactly. Now? Oh, you can them. But you're not trying hard enough. Want, and they don't want to come. They don't want to come grab their paperwork just to at least see what's going on. I if mean, they I don't, don't want to know, because I will be I here tomorrow. Know what somebody filed yeah. against me? So exactly. Maybe have them come by here. And, get said, and you and you and you uh, serve these, and then you're good to go, and you're gonna go leave. Um, yeah, I'm going home. I'll, I'll never come back, to be honest. They don't want me here, and it's gonna all be through process service okay. from now on. Okay. That would be yeah. That's yeah. Really, that's I don't want to be here because I'm kind of scared of her, to be honest. Like she's very not in a physical way, but she's very look what she does. She calls cops. I would I would handle this more civil, but she likes calling cops. I don't know over okay. something simple. So what are the chances that these uh, two people are gonna? They're here every day. I think they're just hiding. Steve's here all the time during this time, and then he sits right here. And then the property manager is always coming through here. What's your name? Is your name Marlo? We've asked him to leave. You should look at this, Marlo. But he's not. He's not being violent, right? He's not being loud. He wants to serve paperwork. We can we can fix this now by just getting two people over here and he gives them the paperwork exactly. and he says he'll leave. Thank you. He wants to do it because he wants it on record and that's what he's going to phone when he gave it. I, I gave her one paperwork. and she was like, I ain't touching that. So what happens if we close our office? Do we have to leave him in here? Like if we decide we're gonna close our office? No, I mean, if you guys are closing up shop for the so day. So we're gonna then... close our office right now. I'm gonna send everybody home for okay. the day. Uh, you have to try a different day then. I guess so. Uh, just so you know, Dave Cortese is being sued. I think that's your brother. Is that right? You don't need to. You no, I just don't know who she is. Dave. She came out of nowhere. Who are the two people you want She's to get served? She's not one of the people that you're interested in speaking with. So. Dave Cortese. No, but if you see on this page. You said that the property manager, right? And who is the property manager? Well, the name? Uh, Dave is Cortese it? here. Well, Dave's not the property manager. But Country Club right? Villa Apartments is here. And then the subpoenas. Are listed on this page. Yeah. Okay, so who are the two folks that you want to get copies of this? Uh, it, would, it would make it a lot easier if they knew who it was. Yeah, I told her from the beginning, Steve and. Okay, do you know Steve's last name? Okay. Is it on any of this paperwork? Uh huh. Is this Steve's? My son. No, it's not. My dad. This is your son? Yes, sir. Hello, okay. sir. Hi. So Vietnam he... Vets. All right, Marine Corps. Very, nice. yeah. Very Thank good. You. So he wants to serve these yeah. just one to Steve and then one to. Yeah, I mean, if we have to come, they said I can't come back. Like, they don't want me here as a. Look, they're gonna close. They're gonna close. Yeah, they can do what they want. It's private property. To, just, you guys are gonna have to set up something where you can get these two folks that you want to be yeah. served and yeah. to give them a copy of the paperwork, and then everything will be. I mean, I'm right. eventually gonna get a process server here Friday anyway, so I guess I'll use what's him your, if I have to. What was your first name? Eric. Eric. Eric yeah. Estamilo. Hey, yeah, that's my, that's my dad. Son. You're not doing anything illegal. I know. Do you, do you see how? Like your demeanor and the way you pull your cell phone out, and you kind of, it's kind of abrasive. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. It's I'd agree. Little, kind little of. Bit. I suffer from mental issues. I have OCD, panic disorder, depression, that, Crohn's to disease. Some people they're not comfortable with that. So maybe next time you just try just having a conversation. We without, tried. We tried without putting your phone out and putting it in somebody's face. I agree. Maybe I, agree. I do this more, for my safety, yeah, to be honest. You're more likely to respond, you know, to you versus. You yeah, I agree with you. Kind of going about it the way I you are. are. Right? I met her. I, I don't. Like, I bet if you came over here and you're really nice and... Okay. I, I was the first two times. 
I was nice, and they they just harassing my car out there. I don't know what to do. They don't want a handicapped person to park on their property. Well, then, then, then so that, that's like, what this is for. Yeah. It sounds like uh, we're gonna close up shop for the day. Yeah, it I'll like, leave. So it's time to go. Oh, Always law abiding. Get a, okay. get a, get a, uh, that's the best way to do it. I don't know why you didn't do that in the first place. It'd make it a lot easier. You wouldn't mm. have to be getting yourself the thing, of it. The thing is, is this is just the beginning. It's going to, like, I'd rather that's... talk to her. Do we have to go through with it? This is the lawsuit, but I haven't served, the process server is going to serve them the summons, which means you, it's over. It, we're really going to court. This is to let them know, do we have to do this? Like do this is yes. so they can look at it and say okay so like you're suing us. It's filed exactly. It's filed. It's got it's in the courts right now. And they could say well do we want can we talk? They didn't want to talk to me. I don't know what else God, they did. Again, don't talk to they, me. When you say they, it's uh, Trisha Morris. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, yeah, I don't know who to talk to. She told me not to even come back in here. So, so like, what am I supposed to do? If I can't even come back in here. They told us to write a letter. Uh -huh. Oh, we wrote so it. Wrote yes, wrote right here. So the letter, yeah, here's the proof I tried first to say, hey, can I get another parking sticker to park my handicapped car over here? And it's right. A picket. Yeah, right here. I said, the letter, I give it to, uh, I believe you did. He gave it to Marlo. Yeah, Is that Marlo? One to Marlo, one to Trisha. And one to uh, the security guard. Exactly. This is us trying. Three letters. This was three days ago. Okay, well, this, this okay is, I'm going to say something. This is you all. give a letter, you don't give people a chance to respond to a letter. You had a week. You just say you go and sue people. You had a week. So, oh. no, you know, so we're talking you had about a week. our attorney, and this is out of our hands now. It's I know. We're talking about our attorney. <laughs> Good. And we're getting a restraining order. You can try. I live here. We are. I live here. Well, the, it's there, going to be a tough one to get, but they're still there. So the process of a restraining order. It's still their right to try. And we're going to talk to our attorney, not us. I know. And vice versa. I don't plan to come back here. Right. We're going to give everything to our attorney. Trisha told us to write three letters. Everything's going to our attorney, Mr. Estevio. To agree. Oh, the, because she called me yesterday to say never to come back in here. So what do I do? We're done talking to you. But so I can never come back in here. Just put not, it on on tape that I can. Restraining orders in now. So I can never come back in here as a tenant. Okay. Well, we have a restraining order. Uh, okay, well, then we'll have to get a restraining order and you'll have to be served, right? Yeah. This is just uh, paperwork that you just want the, these two folks to get their hands on, right? Is yeah. there any way that you can just leave this here and they can give it to those people? Um, I believe... So that is that Marlo, then? Just leave yeah. the paperwork Marlo. on the table. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure they'll give it to the right people. Yeah. It would be yeah. them, it would be them not to, right? It would make yeah, sense. Yeah, I agree with this. Right?